We're just going to do kind of a, a, a quick whippy zippy tour of what my wife Susan and I have been uh, up to the past 10 years. We're both artists and now uh, we're living in our grandest creation here. Um, so this is actually where it started was uh, this building here which we call the uh, Yoga Pagoda. But currently it's Susan's painting studio. This is my daily commute to my painting studio. We built this first, this pagoda, Japanese timber frame, so that I would have a place to work. This is where I get to create. Um, I'm an abstract painter. This is called Moss Rocker. I love abstract painting because everybody gets to find their own subject matter, their own um, light, their feelings. Um, I've, I found the Eiffel Tower right here. Every interpretation is valid and that's what I love about it. One of the most exciting things about this particular spot here is these magnificent rocks that are spread out. I love rocks. I found this piece of land um, that is covered with these giant boulders. Jeff loves boulders and I thought, oh good, maybe Jeff will be happy enough that we won't have to keep bringing more rocks onto the land because there's enough rocks on the <laughs> land already. This whole project took about 10 years and this big boy here, which weighs probably, we figured it, we've kind of figured it out, it was around 12, 13,000 pounds, um, was moved here uh, when we had the big equipment of digging the excavation for the house. These big, these are called jaw dies. So each one of these guys weighs about 1,500 pounds. And uh, think of them as giant molar teeth, basically, in a, in a gravel crushing operation. So there's two of them that, that uh, work together and uh, vibrate like this, and then, and then the gravel goes down these slots. Yeah, I think it'll go. One thing we really enjoy doing with this house is using the industrial scrap, and you can curve them around, and they have just beautiful form to them. Okay, now that's good. This is the 60-year-old concrete shuffle here. Sets everything up really nice. I really love concrete. I mean, it's cool stuff. It's just form it to any shape. This is going to be a planter. I really love this thing. To me, it, I, I was looking at it yesterday, and uh, I think it looks like one of those carnival bumper car things. There's this whole outdoor art thing that's happened. We've done really neat things with uh, big gears. Our column out front really looks like a Greek column. We live in a water critical area, and it wouldn't be like this if we were on the East Coast, but here in the Southwest, we want to we save all the water. And we cherish our water. We cherish our water, yeah. <laughs> this cistern here catches all the water from, from the uh, roof which drops into the top here. There's a, a little downspout in the gutter and it drops right into this cistern and then comes down this wonderful spillway and comes out in the uh, lower cistern. And then the overflow from that diffuses a whole nother part of the garden. I designed a little trough so that when it really starts raining, it just spills over the trough and then that waters a whole nother part of the garden as it goes down the, uh, the cascade of my, my curving stairs here. This is definitely the last house I'm going to build. We uh, Actually, this is the second house we built about 25 years ago. We built a two-story stone house all by ourselves. And uh, I think I pretty much got it out of my system now. So uh, now we're going to concentrate more on uh, Susan doing her uh, uh, paintings, and I'm going to be uh, focusing on sculptures that can be picked up by one person. So, um, this piece here, this is kind of a separate element. This, is really this was going to be part of that sculpture. The wonderful thing about the art center with this incredible space is just the scale of it. We had never had a, the opportunity of a, such a large space. I was just going to draw your attention to this sculpture and the shadows on the walls and how it um, coincided with my painting right here. And you can see these shapes. And that wasn't planned. I mean, we, we, uh, when we were hanging the show, 
we put this up and, it, and it's got these wonderful shadows moving around. And then the neat thing was as we were setting it up, seeing how the, the painting and the sculpture um, interrelated. And Jeff's piece, which was made 15 years previous to my painting, Visionary, and they have something you can see um, that is connected, their movement, the movement. Human slash nature, it's called. And it's th this figure of a very thin, attenuated man with this tree branch growing up out of his chest. They both demonstrate this, this idea of, of a person or a figure in transformation. So here we have my sculpture, Lunar Cycle. And uh, we love the way it references Susan's painting, Tango Bug. Were you here for, for gallery walk? Or? A professor from uh, Pueblo State College brought her a student group in. We just love seeing people's reactions to, to what we've done. And Jeff and I have um, worked, we've been married for 33 years, <laughs> and we've been artists the whole time, one medium or another. And yes. Making art the whole time. Yep. <laughs> so we're very lucky that we've been able to figure out enough to make a living. Sometimes it's better than other times. It goes up and down, and um, sometimes we're scrambling. <laughs> mm. but, Mm. Mm. Susan and I are both lifetime artists. I started out making um, peace symbol rings in junior high school. But we've been making jewelry together for 30 years, pretty much our whole married life. And so the thing with the sculpture too, just as it is with jewelry, it, it is a lot about how to put things together, you know? How do you attach a rock to a piece of metal? So in my background, I had started out making jewelry. So I, I was familiar with, with silver soldering, and, and that is one way to, to uh, join pieces like this together. Because of the silver solder, and I can do real delicate kind of stuff, my one sculpture, Genesis Theory, incorporates a lot of that, but it's all of this uh, pretty involved bending of wire, definitely has a lot of jewelry skills to it, shaping the wire and soldering it together and everybody associates naturally stones with weight and earthiness and so I, I like taking stones and making them fly. This, so this is Jeff's sculpture and the photographs are of Jeff's um, landscape. Art, art, architectural landscaping. Photography is by Margie Dudley. So here's my woodshed. What a fun place. Thing this was to build but uh, boy a lot of work so this was done over a period of about three years probably and the uh, the roof is kind of like a uh, almost like a suspension bridge really between the two points um, the first thing we did was hung a piece of steel in between the two points and that just naturally draped in in there and formed the uh, curve that we wanted to make this became dubbed the Chinese takeout basket and uh, this is the, uh, the end of a big propane tank. And uh, I think in the background you can see uh, this uh, little alcove, this little circle here, is actually made with uh, bulldozer tracks. All these industrial cast-offs are, are really neat. It seems like everything is, is our art, is our world. It's, it's aesthetically, we're just possessed. We're like slaves to aesthetics, we say sometimes. <laughs> we wanted to create a space that that offered a lot of indirect light, a lot of wall space, and drama in the architecture. Um, I think we achieved this, and uh, this is a piece, this is a painting of mine called Tiramisu, and it's, um, it started out in a horizontal format, and it wasn't working, and I turned it up this way at the end, and it seemed like it really worked for, our, especially for this space. Coming through here, you can see the dramatic boulders out the windows and entering into the living room. This is where we created where our... We, we were chill and we warm up. Um, this is our uh, wonderful kind of modernist art deco uh, uh, concrete fireplace. With our hearth that we designed together, Jeff and I, it's very deco. Yeah, these grooves kind of wells for the shadows. To, it creates this depth. And I, I love this kind of serration that happens in here. This is our dining room. It's usually the first place that we, we look at art because it's clean, it has great lighting, and it's really intimate. So this is oceanography, iconology, 
and it, it has a lot of texture in it. It just feels like the ocean. So I've got three of my sculptures here. Um, we're kind of in between shows, so uh, we're uh, having these pieces here, and they're our friends. But it's been quite a process, eh, Susan? We've, we're 10 years into this thing, and now we're pretty much done. I mean, i got a little bit more to do. And now Susan and I are just going to enjoy it and uh, do some other things now. But uh, it's been a wonderful part of our lives, but I'm glad to see this wrapped up.